Uh, two of your former clubs will go head to head, of course, for a place in the semi final. How much are you looking forward to it? Yeah, it's, it's Arsenal and Man City um, go head to head, and um, it's going to be a great tie. You know, I just hope that Arsenal play a strong team because we know what Pep's like, and, and this is why he's had so much success in this competition is that he plays a strong team. Um, he doesn't chop and change much. He's always said that he wants to win things, and that's why he keeps a strong team. So, obviously, I want Arsenal to go through, but it's vital that they pick up from their league form because that's not the best at the moment. Um, but they must put out a strong team. Otherwise, it could be trouble. You mentioned Arsenal's league form. It's uh, It has been disappointing, but they've already shown, haven't they, that they can win silverware under Mikel Arteta. So, a win against City would be a big boost at a really important time, wouldn't it? Yeah, a win, a win against City would be a massive boost because, like I said, the, the, league, the league form is not good at all. You know, I think we're sitting in 15th at the moment, just coming off a, a draw against Southampton, which was an improvement. Um, but it, it, it really needs to get better. It can't really get any worse. Um, you know, and that's why I'm looking forward and praying that we have a good run in this, in this uh, competition. On the other side of things, Man City are, you know, looking to win this competition for a fourth time in a row. Uh, so you'd expect them to be fully up for this one, wouldn't you? City will definitely be up for it. You know, like you said, they've won it three times on the trot. Um, and it's, that's a great achievement. And, and it just goes to show how, how seriously Pep takes this tournament and, um, or competition. It's, um, it, it, I, I love seeing that. I love teams to play their best teams their strongest teams because they want to win silverware. At the end of the day, it's a, it's a fantastic trophy. It's one that I've actually drunk champagne out of, luckily, or one of many. But it's just it's a great feeling to go up those steps at Wembley and, and raise the trophy. Yeah, as you say, you've played in games like these. Do you think league form is important or does it go out of the window when it comes to these big cup ties? Um, well, hopefully it goes out the window because our league form is shocking. Um, yeah, it, confidence breeds success. And, and Man City, they're, okay, they're not in the league. They're not pulling up trees. They're um, they're just ticking away. I, I'm sure that they're going to go on a mega run and put a lot of uh, victories together. Um, whereas Arsenal are really struggling, um, you know. So, like you said, I hope the form goes out of the window and we have a great game against City. You, you also know what it takes to win this competition. You say you've drank champagne out of the trophy, but when you look back now, just how important is is that day, that experience to you? It's a cup final day, and, and any cup final day is, is an amazing day, yeah, especially if you win it. You know, I've had one chance at this, and uh, and fortunately we won it. We beat Chef Wednesday, and uh, yeah, I, I can remember all of it. You know, it was it was a great day. It was my first ever cup final. Um, you know, so it was something to cherish. It was at the old Wembley as well. You know, walking up that tunnel behind what is what used to be behind the goal was just an amazing feeling when you when you realise what's gone on there. You know, the '66 World Cup. You know, Live Aid, Band Aid, all them sort of things have gone on at Wembley. You know, loads of rock concerts. And, and it was a really special place. And that's why every cup final was really special. As a Yorkshire lad as well, as you've already mentioned, to beat Wednesday in the final must have added something to it for you. It was. It was you know, to beat Wednesday was great, you know, because a lot of my friends are, are from Yorkshire. They're Chef Wednesday fans. And uh, trust me, they weren't, they weren't making many phone calls after that game. You know, and we went on to beat them in the FA Cup as well that same season. <laughs> How important do you think the competition is in general then? Because it's obviously the first one up for grabs this season, which, which is quite important, isn't it? It's very important, you know, to win trophies, you know, and have, have a trophy for your team photo at the start of the season. It, it's brilliant, you know, and, and people, like sometimes people put out um, understrength teams and I'm thinking, why? Because this is a great day out and it's a great tournament to be in, you know, and if you win it, it's fantastic. And we've spoken about Wembley as the prize as well for the teams remaining. It's, it's some stadium, isn't it? Some place to play. Yeah, the, the new Wembley is amazing. You know, I've seen it empty and it, and it looks amazing. And then obviously I've seen it with a lot, a lot of fans in there. And uh, yeah, it, it's, it is a special place. You know, it's just somewhere that, you know, I, I'll never get to experience lifting a trophy there. But the, the experiences that I've had at the old Wembley have been amazing. And just finally then, David, I'm going to put you on the spot and ask you for a prediction for Tuesday night, please. I'm going to go for 2-1 Arsenal. I'm being very ambitious because our form's not the best, but hopefully we turn up for a cup game.